Hello guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to see how we can customize a SharePoint online team site as well as a communication site by using the out-of-box features. We will see how we can change the site title, description, privacy settings, as well as how we can apply template to a uh, SharePoint site. What are the various templates that are available in, those, uh, in SharePoint provided by Microsoft that you can use and how exactly that works behind the scene. As well as I will show you how we can apply some themes, header, footer customization that you can do. If you missed my last video which is about how we can create a team site and a communication site, I'll put the link in the video description. You can have a look at it, uh, you know, and then you can uh, customize this. And if you are new to the channel, kindly subscribe to the channel so that you'll get notification whenever I'll make a video on SharePoint or platform or SPFX, all these things. So those videos I regularly make it so make sure you subscribe it so that you will get notification whenever I will make these videos. And, uh, now let's go to the system and we will uh, practically implement all these things step by step. Okay so now if you can see here I am in the SharePoint admin center and on this you look at here I have two sites. Uh, this is a team site enjoy SharePoint Pro and enjoy SharePoint HR this is a communication site. So I'll open this Angel SharePoint Pro, you can see here and I'll open the other site which is the HR site and this is a communication site, you can see here the look and feel. Alright, so now what I'll do is I'll go to the team site, you can see here. So the first thing that we will do here is, um, now look, so when you actually say about the SharePoint site customization, few things we'll discuss here as I said. Uh, like the title description and then some navigation how we can change it and then the look and feel those kind of things so first thing you can see here uh, go to the site settings and here at least you should be uh, you know the the you should be a site owner or uh, you know higher level of permission required uh, then only you can see these options right so uh, make sure that if you do not see those options that means maybe you are not a site owner or you have uh, just a member of it so you will not be able to uh, change this kind of settings on that so make sure you should have a site owner permission or higher than that this two uh, this is required for it so now first thing if you'll see here now you can go to the site information this option and the site information uh, there are regularly you might need to change this thing for example i don't want uh, just to give uh, without space maybe i'll put like this you can see here the site name now enjoy space and then uh, sharepoint then space and pro maybe i'll change this to production let's say right and uh, then description i can change let's say this is my uh, enjoy sharepoint uh, production site right so I can have some description like this and then this is the privacy setting as I said you can uh, change it uh, private or public uh, you know whatever uh, you know you have selected let's say private before where you want only members can access it in SharePoint you can come here and you can make to public as well I'm keeping it at as it is like private and then uh, you can see here that last template used so you will be able to see if you click on this you will be able to see what are the templates that uh, you have used it previously so employee on board uh, team i have also used that v4 and uh, so you can see here it is showing me on that and then uh, there is delete site where uh, you can, if you want to delete you can delete it and then view all site settings if you will click on this you will be able to navigate to another page uh, where you will be able to see the uh, settings page you can see here this is the previous settings page you can see here i'll highly i'll not recommend you use these things so instead uh, from here uh, you can use the modern things so for that let me just go back again i think we will lose the changes that we have we had done now so and i forgot to save it so i'll just quickly change this site information you can see here the changes has been gone as expected because we navigated to another page right so this is gone so i'll just change it again this is enjoy sharepoint production site right and uh, i'll just click on save so this is now if you'll see here now this uh, you can see the title uh, has been changed over here 
right so next what we will do is i'll click on this so you can see here click on the setting icon another option you will see here is apply a site template now look at this here uh, look carefully what exactly happening here now by default you can see there are two tabs on is from microsoft and from your organization in the from microsoft microsoft provided you a lot of uh, templates you can see here right so now suppose uh, if the site about it help desk or you want to see how exactly it looks like a home page then you can just click over here as well and then it will show you what are the things are available on this so you can see one home page one additional page and two list what does that mean when you will use this template you can see the how the page will looks like you can see it here now on this uh, what exactly it will do is it will create a home page it will create an additional page maybe a news or something and then a uh, to list also it will create the moment you will use this template now click over here and you can see uh, you know it is asking us or it is taking some time to apply it so by that time it will create the list page and then it will set the home page now how it exactly works i'll show you don't worry your changes nothing will not go anywhere for example if you'll see here now your site becomes like this you can see right don't worry even if uh, i i mean don't worry like you know where my home page went and stuff like that i will tell you now how we can get it but look at this pages carefully now there are certain things that they have added nothing they have done here microsoft when they are saying that these templates nothing it's just a page if you look at this site pages so they have created it help desk home dot aspx page in that page if you'll see probably this is a quick link your part this is a uh, you know hero part or a new job part so they have basically basically added some web parts um, on onto this page and set this as the home page now where you can see this in this case if you'll go to the settings page and then site content as i said now you will see there are might be two a uh, list that it has been created one is the device list and another one is the tickets list this two has been created list and then if you go to the site pages now look at here they created a new page which is known as the it help desk home page and you can see here it is saying about a minute ago and then the other one is the frequently asked questions so these are the two pages now anytime you if you open this page it is just a page you see here this is just a page having some text and image probably and uh, so anytime you can also go ahead and create it so now look at this so this is your home page right this is additional page which you created and there are two lists that it has been created which you you we saw that it was displaying us when we are trying to uh, you know uh, uh, implement this uh, template into the into our site now suppose i don't want i want to go back to uh, the changes that that was there with me now there is not a straight forward approach which will say that you know it will clean up our entire system but what you can do is now look at this your home.spx you can go there and you can select this uh, and then you can say mark home page now when you will mark the home page you will go to the site again let me just go back to the site again i'll go here now you will able to see here and so certain things you know it it's it's coming here uh, probably you have to go and do the navigation as i said uh, you know there are few things which you have to do manually uh, you know there is no single click button which will take it now in this case probably you have to go to the navigation so for this you'll go to the change and you know, look and then you see here and then uh, you can take the vertical navigation you can see here the left navigation is coming here now which was previously right and you save it now maybe you don't want this faqs to be here tickets to be here so in this case you can just click on edit and then you remove this you click here and then remove tickets i don't want remove it right and then click on save so now if you'll see here now probably uh, you know this way you can customize your uh, uh, you know navigation links also the point here is there is no single uh, a button click which will undo your changes but what you can do here is probably is that you don't need to be worried that your changes is gone or anything just that microsoft created another things 
maybe created a few list library it added uh, some links to your navigation so those things few things will come like your home page home page will come as it is but few independent things if like navigation on all these things you have to go and manually change it so these are the few things which you can do as a template now is now the question might have been with you like can we create our own template and stuff like that see you can do and it will come here since i don't have anything so uh, it is not appearing in for in future videos i will you know let you know how to create it and how we can use it right and if you are new to the channel subscribe it so that you will get notification on on the videos that i am making it so next we will see it here is uh, so basically this templates like right, just to add one more thing basically this templates you can use so that you will get an idea how exactly the home home page will looks like right so another thing i'll show you is uh, this change the look feature right so if you look at it uh, now let me quickly change it uh, you know theme over here so for example i'll go to the site template probably we will take another one and uh, you can see here i'll take this retail and then you should see here one home page one additional page one page template like this is how it is so it will not create any additional list or library anything on when you are applying this template so uh, it will just take couple of seconds more which and then it will you will see the home page right it will just set another home page uh, which is there uh, or which we saw in the preview right so those things will appear you can see it here see here retail management home.spx now this is how it is now if you look at this color combination you look at this now what i'll do is i'll go here and then i'll go to the change look so change the look you'll see here theme header navigation these things are there so in the theme you can change the color so now if you will see here now this is the color combination if i want to change it let's say i'll go for blue you can see here things are changing to blue and if you click on this customize right you can also change to any of the color that you want let's say i want this i you can see here this is the color now it is appearing i want this and this is the color how it is appearing and both ways like you know both the colors you can uh, choose and then uh, you know this is how it will appear now next one i'll show you is uh, i'll again go to the change the look and then i'll go to the header section now header section look at uh, this thing little carefully so uh, and see and observe here what is happening if i'll say minimal you see here become small this space is very small compact little bigger and then standard this is how it is like little space up and down this is how it is extended it will having more space you can see here there is another space over here right so according to your requirement you can give it like the, at one click you can set this and then the uh, you know the background right now it is white the background i'm talking about the entire background so you look at this look at this the background is changing right so you can see this the background is changing right so you can uh, you know the, let's say this kind of gray you can set this and then site title visibility you can see here i can off it so the the name will not appear here right let's i'll off it imagine you are putting a logo or something then you can probably off it and then you see here uh, these icons it is asking if i want to change it i'll just uh, you know set uh, two things here let's say the square one i'll put it you can see here how it is coming right and then suppose the logo i want to add it i'll give this logo you can see it here how it is appearing right now the uh, let me just save it before i'll tell you now maybe you're asking what is the ideal uh, you know the size for this logo yeah i'll put this link also you see this is the dimension that it is saying right the side logo thumbnail uh, what will be in the extended like layout so you can follow this uh, where uh, you can decide what is the uh, uh, you know what is the logo size that you can use sbg formats is not supported as of now you can see here uh, for the group connected sites it is not possible so you can use png format probably that is that you can use right so uh, that is the size that you can follow and then now you can see here so uh, if you will now look at it uh, it make no it makes sense for us to uh, let's say hide the title right because with if i'll enable it they how it is not looking good right so because anyway our uh, logo is there right so uh, that you can see it uh, another thing is uh, there is a section called as the uh, if you go to the navigation you see here site navigation visibility like uh, 
uh, it is on if i will make it off you can see here you will not get the left navigation if you on it by default it will be vertical if i will choose horizontal it will come here right so in the so those things are uh, you know quite easily on clicks it is possible and then also there is mega menu and uh, this thing you can select cascading and mega menu i'll take another video on uh, on uh, on you know how to setting up this navigation mega menus and all these things but for timing being you understand that this is from where you can change it the next thing i'll show you is that in the communication site if you'll see here i'll go to the same place here so i'll say change the look and then you see there is another option which is called a footer i will just scroll down uh, you can see this is uh, the footer and once you enable it you can see it is a footer link is added here and uh, you can have extended layout so having some spaces on that i'll take the simple one and then i'll click on save now you might have been thinking you know what is the how i can edit this uh, links and all so as you can see there is a edit option here you can see here i'll just close it edit option click on this and then it will come here now from here you can uh, you know add the links you can click here you can add the links or you don't want let's say this culture one you can uh, remove it uh, you can click on remove and remove it if you want to make it up so you can go and change it right so you can save it you can see here if you want then you can uh, you know set the uh, you know audience targeting for it so that also you can do it uh, again i'll have a separate video of how we can enable it but timing being that option is there meaning if you want few people to see few links and uh, you know that that way you can set it so uh, yeah so these are few things which you can uh, use to customize the sharepoint site and if you like the video kindly subscribe to the channel and i'll come up with the next video which will be probably on the you know navigation things so thank you and have a nice day